Hey, it's dude. That's a crew. You took a bite of that barbecue chicken sandwich. Here's the Wagyu beef. We're at Capriati's in Fresno. You come eat with us too, again. Buenos days crew. I know this is a weird angle, like straight up right here, but we park right here in front. And this is, how do you say this, Jason? Hey, what's up, crew? Uh, I don't do this very often, but I just want to say before we continue on this adventure that I really, really appreciate every single one of you deciding to crew along with us, watch this video. If you just watch it for one second, if you watch it to the very end, I just want you to know how much you truly, truly mean to me. I appreciate every single one of you. I do these videos for all of you, so whenever I get any type of message, whenever I get any type of anything from any of you, it really means a lot to me. You're awesome. Let's continue with this adventure. Capri... Capriotis, Capriotis, I call it Capricolis, Capriotis. But here is where we're gonna try. Now we have tried this before, okay? We have tried this before, right, Jason? I've tried this a couple times. The way I found out about this place was because of Craig. We came to eat here one time and it was really good. So then I brought Jason and it was really good. Capastrami, what the heck? So then we're coming back because we didn't record any of it. And I'll show you what makes this place really dope. I mean, I guess you, you've seen the picture already, right? Because it's not like, well, may, maybe this one. Oh no, that's, is that cheese? I'm not too sure. But maybe this one, I feel like my hand was going to go through it there. But it's not like sliced uh, turkey, right? Like from Subway, you know? It's actual turkey. Since we're right here, let's just show you. So then we're not getting the, the, the people, right? On the inside. But that's some of the stuff. American Wagyu? Where it says American Wagyu. Oh. Hmm. All right, this time we did get four sandwiches, okay? We got three halves. Jason got a small of a classic Italian, but the other three we got halves. We got a barbecue American cheesesteak Wagyu, and what did I get? Homemade turkey. That's what we got. Oh, actually, we also got uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. And here looks pretty cool. Oh, what a song. Yeah. There we go. And then I like, look at their lights. So cool. I like their lights. I like just the, the kind of theme of it. And those over there. There's Jason enjoying that. Doopity boop beep. And here is their soda dilly. Crew, what kind of soda do you enjoy? Do you get soda at all? Or do you get lemonade? I don't do that. I don't do that. That's not, that's not for me. Lemonade, any type of lemonade. Not for me, I call it disgusting juice. But I will get lemonade at the Grand Canyon Phantom Ranch. I've never had lemonade there ever before, but if you're gonna try any type of lemonade, why not have it in the Grand Canyon, but not just like around the Grand Canyon, in the Grand Canyon. Phantom Ranch, if uh, you wanna do a little look up of anything, Phantom Ranch is down in the canyon, in there. So that's the place where you would have, you gotta drink some of that lemonade in there. That's the only place, that's it. And that is the reason why this place is so dope. You see that? That's a real turkey. It's a real turkey, Jason. That's, that's not like that. Well, you, you know, like that sliced turkey where they just like slap on slices onto your sandwich and like, here you go, here you go. They actually make the turkey like that here. Shredded up in pieces. Yeah, that's why this place is so good. Thanks, Craig. And there's your, your turkey pieces. Tip, thigh. Tenderloin. Yeah, I like this like artwork. I mean, it's just words, right? But I still like it. Voted greatest sandwich in America. I concur. I concur with that, Jason. Voted greatest sandwich in America. If you're gonna have any type of sandwich deli crew, you come try here. We're at um, where is this at? I'll put the I'll put it at the corner of deli. What like? I think Sam's Club's over there. Always pointing out the obvious, but still, that's where we walked in. And then if you turn this way. Like that, whoa, is that too fast for you? Sorry. Uh, the bathrooms are that way. And then more, more seating and stuff. Hot sliced cherry peppers. They got sweet peppers and sweet, what? What is that? It's sweet brine. Hey, look, we're doing an unwrapping. A sandwich unwrapping. This is Jason's Italian, as you can see here. This is a twerk. We got a twerk, right? <laughs> a turkey. And then the Wagyu and barbecue. Let's, let's see that, that sandwich, Jason. Yeah, look at that. So you know what? I think, I think we're gonna do, we're gonna try this. This one right here, the Wagyu. We didn't get our mashed potatoes yet, but I'll tell them in a bit right now. This is hot, 
Oh wow, look at that, yeah, he's on. Yeah, here he goes, here he goes. He added uh, mayonnaise onto it, because it doesn't come with it. Did you get this last time? No, no right? No. Survey says? Very good. Yeah, I'll say that face at first was like, mm. Well, I was trying to think of what I got last time. Got it, oh, okay, you got it, got it, got it. Yeah, the bread is nice, the seasonings and all. Yeah, it looks legit. Heck yeah. As you can see ham and salami. I don't know what else comes in it. Jason said we gotta go to a car shop now. What did you say? Hey, Louie? Go oh, okay. Oh, because. It's Got it. And they, the Italians go to car shops? They go everywhere. Yeah. I was just saying, because you know, the stereotype is how they always have these. Yeah, okay. If you want. <laughs> A car shop? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, a car shop. Mechanic. Mechanic? Oh, mechanic? Mechanic. Oh, mechanic. Mechanic. Oh, like a car shop, I guess, if you want. Let's try this Wagyu. Is it a little spicy? It's a Wagyu? -y? I don't know. That meat is really good. It's actually pretty spicy. I like it. You can taste the onions, the peppers, but not just like, it's like pepper peppers, right? You know? I'm not a fan of mushroom. Right, but all this goes together very nice. It's not dry. The, the the steak is not chewy at all. Oh my god. Dude, let's try it. The onions, the cheese, the bread. It's a little spicy, right? A little bit. But it's not like a you're gonna die? Wow. That's good. That is really good. I know we've been doing a lot of food review things, but we, I just love to eat, you know? We eat every day, so why not review it, right? Crew, this <laughs> this is really good, actually. I like coleslaw a lot, actually. Do you like coleslaw, crew? I do, a lot. Good catch, Jason. Thank you. I was not recording. He just took another bite of that cheesesteak, and I was saying it's really good, right? That cheesesteak is so good. And let me tell you something. I don't get cheesesteaks at all because I'm not really a fan of steak. Yeah, what? That's crazy. Well, I'm not really a fan of steak. I'm not gonna lie. And sometimes I'm just picky with my steak. I don't like weird pieces in my steak. This is really, really good. All right, the coleslaw. Eh. It's all right, coleslaw. It's not like, whoa. It's like a, a hint of coleslaw. Like you have all of this, right? But you know, like the coleslaw sauce and stuff? It's like just a hint of that. I'm sorry. Let's check out this mashed fries with gravy. Looks like it's hot. Let's not burn our mouth. I'll say, where's... I was gonna say, where's the gravy? Is it just, uh, just gravy? It's just a gravy bowl. Yeah, looks pretty hot though. Look at that. Don't copyright me. And let's not burn our mouth. It's like a, like a buttery gravy mashed potatoes. It's almost like, like home style. I like that. There is a good amount of gravy to mashed potatoes ratio. It's not just like some gravy with a lot of mashed potatoes. It is a good amount of gravy. So if you like that combo of a lot of gravy, this is it. It tastes like home. You know? I like this. Gotta have another bite of this. So good. Mmm. I'm gonna jack a bite from Jason. This Italian. What did you do? I kind of push out. <laughs> Just shove it back in. This is a classic Italian, but it's so good. This bread is really good. It's, it's nice and soft. Actually, the mayonnaise, the mayonnaise in there, it doesn't come with the sandwich. But good choice, dude. I don't know, it just adds to the sandwich. As it should, though, right? Let me get another bite of this. That's a really good sandwich. All right, lots of unwrappings here today. Unwrapping the chicken barbecue. Wow. Here, it is. I didn't know that it was gonna have some of these fried onions on it. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Aquí vamos. First, I went to like a mmm, and then mmm, that barbecue, nice thing, that chicken. I don't know, take a bite of that. Just like the chicken. Just a nice, the barbecue. It's a kind of different barbecue. Oh, look, they just brought a turkey. It's a, yeah, it's like a bit more sweet than maybe tangy. Here, we're gonna try some of these bread. 
Good day. Try to be shaking right now. My leg is bouncing. This is so good. My leg wants to dance. Because these are good. Very close to this chicken and the Wagyu one. Okay, this one was just showing me. You got to do what it does right there. That's a very different sandwich. Yeah, that's a different sandwich. But, but why not? Let, let's, let's do it. Make sure we get a nice piece. We're going to yeah. kill that thing before we get a second bite. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's really good. Here's some going for the dunk. Mm. These onion, fried onion dilly too. Oh, this is a piece of chicken. I thought it was good. The barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce. It's so good. Jason's doing those mashed potatoes on the, on the, by themselves. It's like a bit better, right? Yeah, that's different. That's different. It's not like, I don't know. It's not even like, it's not like KFC or wherever else you can. These, these are different mashed potatoes. All right, now we're doing the torque. The torque sandwich. Right? What do you mean? Jason said, I forgot, I still had mine. But all of these were ours. No, because this is the one that I... Well, that, well, yeah, that that's that was specifically for Jason, but, like, all these were the ones that we were trying. But I got mine that I specifically ordered. I forgot that... We still got the torque? Yeah. Yeah, we still got the torque. Well, is this the usual? Like, a, the usual sandwich, I guess? Uh, this is, I mean, not usual. It's only been two times. This is the third time I've eaten here. But I guess... Yes, before? Yeah, there you go. The sandwich. Oh, what the? oh that was a little... <laughs> That's all right, put it back onto there. That is not a tomato sandwich crew, I promise. There's turkey in there, but there it is. So I took off both pieces. I'll take a bite after I take the bite. Let's, I don't know how to hold this, like this, possibly. Right. Yeah, it's a classic turkey. Not that sliced turkey. Nice oil, pepper, Italian seasoning, onion. This one does not. There's eight and onion by itself. That did. We'll put everything together, but it doesn't need too much explanation because it's just it's a turkey sandwich, you know. But it all goes very nice, especially with this type of turkey. Mhm. Mm Go to it. I like it. Good. It's so good. Which one's your favorite though now? Like out of all of these? All of these, which one's your favorite? Comes to the ship between the Wagyu and the Italian. I will say it has to be barbecue or Wagyu for me, but I think maybe just that little, a little, mm. is the Wagyu. I think so, I think the Wagyu beats it out for me. It's just so good. And that spice, I love it. I love the spice. All right, well. Jason's doing it to it with this mashed potatoes, but uh, yeah, we annihilated those sandwiches. They were just so good. All right, crew, another delicious adventure. I know we've been doing a good amount of these food reviews, but there's quite a bit of you that actually ask for more food reviews, more foodie adventures. So that's what we've been doing. I hope you enjoy these. I hope you enjoy any type of adventure we do. I hope you've been enjoying these foodie adventures. I really appreciate you crewing along with us on all of these. But like I said, that place i have tried with craig before one time me and jason did try it another time but just i didn't record none of it but we had to go back and make a full review video for you there's a lot more sandwiches obviously that we did not try but the ones that we did try that wagyu i think was uh, probably my favorite but very close to it that barbecue chicken all four sandwiches were really delicious an awesome place i know maybe the theming i guess doesn't look like much other than the words or that wood type look but i don't know i just i, I like that and the, the neon sign and the lights that they have awesome employees but yeah just an, another awesome adventure crew thank you so much for hanging out with us you hanging out with us is something you never ever have to do on purpose or by accident i appreciate every single one of you you're all awesome thanks for crew and thanks for venturing on to the next the way i found about the way it was woo woo we came and ate yeah we came but what am i talking about he's gonna if, the, if you're what I'm, i don't know what i'm trying to say want to move that i don't want to touch your sandwich like move it for the picture which way? Which way are you? Hold on. There's a car coming. I mean, I'm not trying to hide from the car. It's just the noise, you know? The sport or bore.